showing you're up here. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Here. I'm gonna get you. No, stay away from me. Leave me alone. I don't think so. You're coming with us now. No. Yes. Dad. Come on, son. It's time to go. Let's go in the car now. Core, let me see a smile. Hey, tell you what, I'll get you Guitar Hero, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame edition. I can't be bought. Corey, this isn't easy on any of us, but you know why we're moving. Yeah, because Dad lost his job. I look at the bright side. I've got a new job. Yeah, and Daddy won't be teased at the office anymore about being Mr. Botchett. What's your point, Pam? My point is your point, honey, to look on the bright side. Oh, right. Corey, you're going to love it now, Amherst. It'll be an adventure. You got a lot of light. Oh, you got a great view. Relax, Dad. You're an insurance man, not a real estate broker. <laughs> How about putting your clothes away? Okay. Yep. Now it's starting to feel like home. Hang them up, pal. I wonder who used to live here. Family named Smith. Smith? Hmm. Sounds dangerous. What if Mr. Smith was an axe murderer? What if he boiled his victims in oil? What if he served them a Sunday dinner right in our dining room? What, what if... if you just give this place a chance? Tell you what, give it three months. I'm sure by then you'll be nuts over this brand new house, brand new neighborhood, brand new friends, brand new... Spiders! What? <laughs> We have spiders. Yeah, Mom, look. Oh, oh. Don't worry, honey. Oh, I'll take care of them. No, ah. no, Joe, we should call an exterminator. Ah. Look at my house. Oh, you're big. Oh. Ah. Gotcha. Oh, got me. Oh. Oh. There. Oh. Oh. See, we don't need an exterminator. Yeah, we could catch them and Mom could fry them up. They're a delicacy in some parts of the world. Ugh, no. Joe, I hate spiders. I know. Does that mean we can move back home? Corey, this is our home now. Yes, and home is more than just a place. It's where the people that you love are. Right. And that's what matters. 
Finish putting your clothes away. Remember, we all have to look at the bright side. Yeah, they could have been rats. <laughs> See, it's not so bad. Look how beautiful it is here, Pam. Joe, are you sure we can afford this? Honey, we're all in. This is a fresh start for us. I just hope we're doing the right thing. Come on. I'm going to take this town by storm. Come on, Pam. It's our first night alone. Corey's asleep. A little moonlight. A little music. Oh. A little hoo ha. Huh? <laughs> hoo ha. Oh. Mm. Ew. What? Don't move. Okay. Don't. I won't. Spiders. <laughs> oh my God. So I guess hoo-ha's out of the question? <laughs> mm-hmm. Ah! Don't worry, Mrs. Cannon. The Learning House Homeschool is the best school in Elmhurst. It's much better than the public schools. We have all the academic subjects, plus very strong sports, arts, and music programs. We're quite proud of our little school, aren't we, students? I just hope Corey will be happy here. I'm sure Corey will fit right in. Our students are serious minded, <laughs> well behaved, and excel at manners. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Fresnel. I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, that's all right, Daryl. Yeah. Mrs. Cannon, I'm sure Corey's gonna love it here. Well, Corey, do you hear that? Okay, give me a kiss and I'll see you later. Mom. You can go now. Oh, okay. Well, have fun. Toodaloo! His head looks like a tangerine. <laughs> children, <laughs> children, listen up. This is our new friend, Corbett Cannon, who's moved here all the way from New Jersey. So let's give him a real learning house welcome, okay? Hello, Corbett! Mr. Cannon, you're a lucky boy. You arrived just in time to join us for the Civil War. Now you stay here and I'll go grab your textbook. I'll be right back. I wonder what he's got about that time. <laughs> Let's get him a drink. Yeah, cool. Let's do it. Mr. History Book! Yoo-hoo! Where are you? Here's Mr. Math and Mr. Science. Oh, and that's Saka. Let's go. <laughs> what in the world is going on out there? Oh, man. Daryl, please make sure that everyone is behaving. <laughs> I'm almost back. Oh, I'll see my little angels when I walk around this corner. Oh my, we're a little butterfingers, aren't we? Stand up. Now let's see, where can we put you? Oh, Mrs. Fresnel, let him sit next to me. I could help him if he needs anything. Eat, eat, eat up my little learners. A full stomach fuels a fresh young mind. Hey, sorry about yesterday, Corbett. You know, 
You're just trying to show off. Like I told Mrs. Fresnel, I'm going to help you. For instance, what's this? It's called a sandwich. Mmm, chicken salad. Oh, no, Jersey boy. Smells sort of funky. What do you think, Brainiac? Could have multiple toxic infestations. Going bad. Better test it for him. Hmm. A little on the chickeny side. Couldn't make you sick. Yeah, you could get chicken pox. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can have it. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> Don't forget dessert. Don't you dare. You'll ruin your dinner. This is our first home-cooked meal in our new place, and I want you to be hungry. Don't worry, Mom. I'm hungry. Guess what, guys? I bought a motel. We don't need a motel, just the maid service. Actually, I bought 10 motels. 10 pest motels, four bug bombs, three tarantula traps. Tomorrow, all of our spiders are going to be dropping like flies. <laughs> How's my boy? How's school going? Terrible. Oh, look at this. You just zap this tag off here. Not now, Joe. We're going to eat. I'm not doing it. I'm just showing you. You have to break the tab off first. <laughs> Pressing it won't do a thing, see? <laughs> Ew! Oh, my turkey! <laughs> Wait, Mom, where'd you put the hazmat suit? Run, run! Go, go, go! I am not Mr. Botchett. It was a defective bomber. Look at the bright side, Mom. We get to eat burgers from the drive-thru. Yeah, honey. I, mean, I got your favorite, a turkey burger. And it's nice to eat out here. Come on, I'm sorry, Pam. I didn't mean to ruin your dinner. I know. It reminds me of the night you proposed when you opened the champagne bottle and it exploded <laughs> all over my dress. <laughs> so I took the rest of the bottle, I poured it all over my shirt. I love you, Pam. I love you, too. Gross! <laughs> Hey, not so fast. I can't help it. This dirtbag Daryl stole my lunch. I know it's tough being the new kid, but you just gotta get your foot in the door. Right, so they can stomp on my toes. <laughs> Ugh, I'd like to punch his lights out. Come on now. You know what I always say, a kind word is, is the, the best, best medicine. medicine. Your father is right, fighting won't get you anywhere. Easy for you to say, Mom. You never got picked on, you're a girl. Oh, no? When I was in school, Arlene Dunn hit me every time I passed her in the hallway. Why'd she do that? Because I was smart, and she was flunking. But instead of hitting her back, I tutored her. She even went to college and then law school. And now she's the head of her own company. She wears designer clothes, and she drives a Mercedes, and she lives in a mansion. Life worked out really, really well for her. No need to go into that now, honey. Mm. Corey. If this Daryl is being a bully, you just need to reason with him. You know, extend the hand of friendship. That'll do it. I don't think so. He's bigger than me, and he has two friends. I'll never see the eighth grade. Tell you what, how about Mom make some cookies to give to him? Oh, OK. Yeah, sure. I mean, he'll love you for that. Or at least he'll be too full to pick on you. These are for Daryl. What you studying? Civil War stuff. The Battle of Mustard Hill. Which one was that? The Union soldiers ran out of ammunition, so they tried to use kind words. They got pulverized. <sighs> Trust me, the cookies will work. Remember, Corey, the good guys always win. It doesn't make any difference. No, it doesn't make any sense. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. I gotta call you back. Hi! I'm Sam Blades. 
Welcome to Better Life Insurance. Joe Cannon, thrilled to be here. What do you think of the space? We call it Neo Butcher. <laughs> just kidding. Come on. This is just our temporary quarters. My brother owns this meatpacking plant, so he let us set up shop until our new office is finished. Every week, we have a contest. Whoever sells the most wins a rump roast. Nice perk. But when we move, we're really gonna miss those rump roasts. Well, this is your desk. You'll be sitting next to Harold. Although, uh, <clears throat> we call him Jaws. Bad accident. Shark attack on our company trip to Miami a couple of years ago. Yeah. Well, he's got the sirloin. I've got the short loin. And you... You got the tush. Excuse me? The Eastern Territory, starting in Elmhurst. Write your name down there. But you better move up fast, or you'll be like those sides of beef out there with the other guys carving up your turf. Yes, settle in, and start working your charm in Rumpville. Hi, Joe. Hey, honey. Where are you? I'm at the office. How is it? Uh, it's beautiful. Great. Oh, and I have a fantastic view. Oh, I'm so And we did the right thing. Yes. I think we're really going to be happy here. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Jersey boy, you're toast. Could you make that raisin toast with cinnamon and jelly? <laughs> sure. And here's something to wash it all down. Sean Harris, give me that. You know we don't allow squirt toys in school. No, sir. It goes right into my confiscation chest. Oh, man. Hey, brains, you figure out the combination to that lock yet? Now look what you did, Jersey boy. Yo, Sean, six bucks to buy another one. Here, I got these for you. Homemade cookies. Will you take them as a down payment? OK, thanks. But you still owe him six bucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Death, accidents, injuries, maiming. Eh, maiming isn't good. People don't like maiming. Mutilation. Yeah, mutilation's good. Now, I know a lot of people get queasy about insurance, but at Better Life, our protector policy covers more than most for less than most. That's why our motto is, with Better Life, you can have a better death. Ah! Pam, get off what of is me. it, Pam? I'm Joe, trying, I'm where coming. are you? Oh. Oh. What's the matter? Uh, these spiders are everywhere. What? With their cousins club, the, the, the silverfish and the giant ants and the killer bees and the man size fleas. I hate insects, Joe, you I know. I know, I know. Calm down, I'm sorry. I'll try another pesticide. I've got a closet full of sprays, bombs, no, Joe, grenades. No, Joe, Joe, call a professional, please. I want them all gone when I get back with Don. Fine. Okay. I'll call an exterminator right now. Thank you. <sighs> You're going back to Hoboken? Oh, yeah, yeah, but it's only for a few days. I'm bringing Uncle Don back to stay with us. But he's in a nursing home. Yeah, but it's too far away. Where's he gonna sleep? Actually, he's going to share your room. What? But he smells like cheese. Corey. I mean, he's your godfather. And besides, he helped us get this place. If it weren't for him, we couldn't have moved here. That would have been a tragedy. Hey, we're his only family. We have to take care of him. But I don't want you to go. Well, I know that it isn't convenient, but it's the right thing to do. Okay. Okay. All right, Joe, I want those insects gone by the time I get back. All right, and Corey, how about while I'm upstairs packing, you stay down here and help your dad with the unpacking? Okay, Mom. All right. Hello, Bug Busters. Yes, this is Joseph Cannon at 540 Cherry Street. Yeah, we have a... Oh, guys, I'm serious, really, I'm serious. People think that because we're Italian, we're in the bomb. Great. 
I'm only 12 and my life is over. I'm living in a house full of bugs. Uncle Don's coming to live in my room and I'm getting creamed at school. What am I gonna do? I need a miracle. It's all because of the movies. You know, this serious. They think that there's a way we talk. Why is your man such disrespect? The people who did this to you be made to suffer this very day. You came to me first. You must protect your family. Yo, dude, I want you to know I've been going easy on you till now. What? I let you look tough in front of your friends, but the game is over. You gotta show me respect. How'd you figure that, Jersey boy? My dad? Yeah? Mafioso! Huh? The mob? The family? Cosa Nostra? Goons? Broken noses? Give me a break. What are you saying? What I'm saying is, I'm a mafia kid. Cannon's an alias. It's Cannoli. Corey Cannoli. Son of Joey Cannoli. The trigger. What do you think, we're boneheads? We moved from New Jersey, right? Cause we had to. My daddy made a hit. He bumped off Johnny Salami. Johnny Salami? <laughs> That's not a real name. Of course it's not a real name. It's a nickname. Cause he had bad breath. Pop didn't like him standing too close. But one day Johnny made a mistake and breathed on him and splat! All over the pavement. Whoa, did they kill you because of bad breath? We had to leave town so his pop could lay low. Someplace quiet, out of the way, Elmhurst. I may be small, but let me tell you one thing. The mighty Goombas don't take too kindly to their sons being bullied. Huh? I'll get it. What do you want? I'm the paper boy. Your house is on my route. So? So? I'm supposed to talk to your folks to set it up. My dad's on the phone. He'll be right out. And you better not mention, you know. Yeah, I know. Eh. Don't touch that hammer. It's the one Pop used to break Finny the Rat's kneecaps. Right. There's no black off my teeth, but if the police dust it for fingerprints, you're the one going to the slammer. See this? Can crush a man's fingers? Just like that. In this nutcracker, one squeeze on the kajubis, and your voice sounds like Miss Piggy sucking helium. Don't touch anything. Listen, I wanted this done yesterday. Now I'm getting upset. I want them dead by tomorrow night. If you can't do it, I'll find someone else. Good. Dead and gone. So no one will ever see them again. Who are you? What do you want? Uh, nothing, sir. I mean, I just deliver papers. The Elmhurst Times, uh, daily and Monday. I mean, Sunday. You know, you ask someone to do a simple thing and they give you flack. He's doing a job for another family. I'd sooner do it myself, but the last one got messy. So now I have to hire someone. Oh, I hate delegating, you know? I'm a hands-on kind of guy, you know what I mean? Boom, bang, it's done. A boom, bang? So now it's your turn. Me? Yeah, you, the paper. You want me to order the paper? Uh, 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 yes, sir. Uh, uh, no, sir, I I it's free, here. All right, thanks. What are you, 12 years old? Do you know my Corey? Are, are you in class with him? He shared a little something the other day with, uh, what's his name, Daryl. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. A little message about how we like to treat our friends. You keep your eye on my boy. You can be good to him. It's important for us all to be one happy family. Ray, sir, absolutely. You said it. But 
It's true. I heard him. He was ordering a hit on the phone. You're crazy. No, I'm not. He crushes fingers and breaks kneecaps. Were there any body parts in the fridge? You gotta believe me. I looked in his eyes. The man's a killer. I wish there was a way we could really find out. Children! Children! Now remember, tomorrow is career day. And unfortunately, Lauren's father had to cancel. Is there anyone else who can ask their father or mother on short notice? No, Brian, your father's already spoken to us. What about Corey's father, since he's new in town? Oh, my, what a lovely idea, Daryl. So clever. No, he can't come. He's busy. He's not available. He can't do it. With a better life policy, you can structure insurance as an investment tool and secure greater viability for your family. No, well, no, no. What's wrong? You sound like an insurance salesman. <laughs> But I am an insurance salesman. Duh, you're talking to 12-year-olds, Dad. We text. We make viral videos. We tweet. You gotta spice it up. Grab them by the throat. Kick a little butt. Give them some mystery. Huh. Mystery? Huh. The world is a dangerous place. Anything can happen at any time. When you least expect it. For instance, you could get smashed by a truck or crushed by a train. <laughs> or something could happen to your house. <laughs> Life is unpredictable. Accidents can happen. You could lose your wallet. That's why you need me. I'm in the protection business. I pay a little visit to your parents, and they take out a policy. Each month, they pay a little bit of money. And if there's ever any trouble, like a flood, or a fire, I swear, Ma, he's in the Mafia. Come on, that's ridiculous. No, it's not. He's a hitman. He kills people. They call him the Trigger. Daryl, please. Why won't you believe me? Because you're a precocious and obnoxious little boy. But since you're my precocious and obnoxious little boy, I'll have to have a little chat with Corey's mom. No, Mom, don't. Shh, stop. Mom, Mom, no. Mom, stop it. Hi, Corey. This is Mrs. Haggerty, Daryl's mother. Oh, hi. Is your mom stop. there? Mom, I'd like mom, to speak no, with her. No, no, cancel, cancel. She oh. went back east. She did? She went back to New Jersey. To get my godfather. To pick up who? My Don. Your godfather? The Don? <laughs> Fifty-six hours trapped in a car, listening to him talk about his gallstones. I'm sorry. I'll take care of Uncle Don, sweetie. There's a bubble bath waiting for you inside. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Don, wake up. We're home. Don. Huh? Hey, it's Joe, Uncle Don. Huh? You're going to come stay with us, remember? Hold on. Yeah, yeah. My, my x-rays. Get my extras, they're in the trunk. Leave me alone, I can... Oh, they'll stay. 
sticks. Where'd you put it? Oh, there. There. It's here, I tell you. This X-ray of my gallbladder is going to make me rich. Okay, Uncle Don, okay. Don't okay me. I know what I'm talking about. Wait, wait till I show you. <laughs> yes, Mother? Right now. That's what I'm telling you. Ah! He whacked him and put him in the trunk. Oh, there's a wall that's stupid. Okay, we've had a long day. So let's just get comfy. Let's get some rest. I gotta show you this. Look. What do you see? Gallstones? <laughs> no, no, that big one over there. What does it look like? A big amorphous blob? <laughs> no, look closer. Come on. It looks like someone. Shamu? Oh. oh my gosh! Lady, Lady Gaga? Gaga? Bingo! Yeah, <laughs> in one of her weird outfits. And I'm gonna get a hot auction going for this on eBay. People make a fortune on absolute junk. <laughs> but a gallstone that looks like Lady Gaga? Why didn't you just get the surgery back in Jersey? They said it wasn't serious enough yet. But if I don't get this stone out of me soon, it could end up looking like any other gallstone. Uh, Pam promised she'd help me get it taken care of. Oh, just get some rest, Uncle Don. We'll talk about it in the morning. You too, sport. Bedtime. Okay? Good night. Good night. Lady Gaga, turn my gallstone into cash. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh. I'll hang 21 cats. <laughs> Did you hear something, Pam? Mm. I heard something outside. Uncle, look, you stay here. If anything happens to me, I have good insurance. It's in my sock drawer. Shoot! Oh no. Oh my god. Oh dear. There's someone there. Meow. Hey, I know you're there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll blast you! I'll blast you! As soon as I can see! Uh. 
I'm telling you, Mother, there are two dead bodies. I saw them with my own two eyes. No, his name is Ford. a cannon. It's cannoli. And he just He'll have no women with the fishes. I mean, will be wearing okay. cement shoes. Yes, that's right. He's God, with terrible the in cement. I had to pretend I was a cat. Hitman. Who told I you that? The trigger. In our lives, are wise guy. What are you talking about? The trigger man. You don't know. You weren't there. It's true. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's the right hand man to the Godfather, and his kid is just like his father. I brought you a calzone with cheese and pepperoni. Would you like a little pasta with pesto? And you could wash it all down with this cupcake. Here. I finished your homework. Uh, tomorrow's our civil war test. You want me to study for you? No, no. That's all right, my friends. Your kindness and generosity embarrass me. Keep your calzone. Keep your pesto pasta. I'll keep the cupcake. I'm telling you, Ma, the move here has been incredible. Yes, Joe is the number one salesman in his office. Yes, Ma, Joe, the guy I married. <laughs> I, I don't know what happened. Maybe there's something in the air here. Yeah. Oh, oh, and Corey is doing great in school. He's excelling. I'm telling you, that homeschool was a great idea. From us. Oh, I'll tell you what he wants. Money. He tried to sell me an insurance policy. <gasps> me too. He's dangerous. Oh, yeah, insurance. That's what he calls it. But we know what it is. Extortion. He wants us to pay. And pay and pay and pay. Hold on, hold on. There is no proof of any of this. Well, what do you mean? He told our children we needed protection. He warned me my husband had better buy a policy. Better life. Yeah, better life. Ha! Huh? We're like, better buy or else we die! Uh, Mrs. Haggerty, please! You're the sheriff, Roger. Get rid of him. But Cora seems like such a nice boy. Don't. Ay, no, todo lo que voy es oro. Cuando río soya, es que hago lleva. What? Now look, folks, you dragged me and poor Mrs. Fresnel out here on a Sunday afternoon, and the man has not done anything. Hasn't oh. done anything? He's in the Mafia! Now just cool your mules. What Mafia? It's one man and his family. Oh, yeah. Well, we know who his family is. Mobsters. Gangsters. They're taking over this town! It's a shakedown. Oh, quiet, quiet. Your imaginations are running away with you. If you just relax, I promise I'll keep an eye on Cannon. It's really cannoli. In the meantime, just simmer your goose bumps. Now, y'all got a bad case of tabloid fever. Nothing interesting ever happens here, so you make it up. Now, I'm telling you, there's no evidence of anything. No hitman, no extortion, no shakedown, and positively, absolutely no mob. Come on, Nikki, play your hand. Why we gotta hang out in here? I told you, just till the heat blows over. Jeez, I, I can't even concentrate, boss. I mean, th there's all this flap about this Jersey goon. I mean, why can't I just put him away? Forget about it. No Jersey family's gonna send their boy out here. East is east, west is west. Turf is turf. And this is my turf. Nobody messes with Marco Marconi. <laughs> yeah, I remember what happened to Polly Meatballs when he tried to squeeze you last year. I'm gonna squeeze your meatballs. You don't shut your trap and play cards. All right, all right. Get any fives? Go fish. Besides, I got ears. Joe Cannoli. Never heard of the guy. He's nobody. Sounds like dessert. Tortoni, <laughs> spumoni, cannoli. Any kings? Nah, fish. 
Wait a minute. What if it's not cannoli? What? Maybe it just sounds like cannoli. What sounds like cannoli? Cannelli sounds like cannoli. Cannelli sounds like cannoli? It's a good thing you don't work for directory assistance. No, you don't get it. Whoever heard it, heard it wrong. You see, cannoli is Ganelli. Joey Ganelli? The Ganelli brothers? Nah. Yes! Why those dirty sons of Ganellis? What are they doing on our streets? I mean, they're Jersey bums! If he's out here, something big is brewing. This Ganelli goon's like the invisible man. Nobody's ever seen him, but he's like the number one butcher. Nah, I'll put him away. I'll pulverize him. I'll chop him in a mince meat. Forget about it. Mm. This Ganelli's so good. Why don't we get him on our team? Yeah. We'll make him an offer. Oh, that he can't refuse. <laughs> right, come on. You watch too many movies. We offer him more than he's making now. We give him some green and get him on our team. Our hatchet needs chopping. <laughs> what? Our hatchet man, Freddy Staccati, he's gotten nervous and sloppy. So I got him a little hideaway for some R&R. &R. But if this Ganelli's so tough, maybe we get him to tuck Freddy in for a permanent dirt nap. <laughs> Call a little meeting with Joey Cannoli Ganelli. Why do you bother Corey on his recess? He's busy. Why don't Let you... him speak. Kirk Jensen keeps pushing me around. He calls me a millinet and steals my marbles. I wondered if you could do anything to stop him. <laughs> we can see why he calls you melonhead. <laughs> <laughs> You think that's funny? Well, yeah. Just what part of that do you think is funny? Well, I don't see the humor. This little guy's got somebody picking on him, and that's funny to you? No. Then what are you laughing about? I don't know. You always laugh about nothing? Easy, Corey. He didn't mean anything. That wasn't funny. Come on. Hey, you're my way. A friend of mine says you called him names and took his marbles. Friend of yours? I, I, I didn't know. Why don't you give him his marbles back and say you're sorry for calling him Melonhead? Here. Sorry. And he pushed me and scraped my knee. Hey, Timmy. I'm sorry. I really didn't mean it. See, a kind word is the best medicine. Now play nice. I don't like any trouble in my schoolyard. Yeah, you got it. I mean, you won't get no trouble from me. Hmm. You look kind of tough. Hang tight. I might have a spot for you in my organization. Gee, thanks, Corey. One day, I may call on you to do a favor. See, it's good to help people. Listen, a potato chip that looked like a duck went for 200 bucks. Now, Lady Gaga is no duck. She's my golden goose. <laughs> no, this is just weird. <laughs> This town is suddenly falling all over me to buy insurance. So why is everybody avoiding me? You might try a breath mint. <laughs> hey, sport. How's it going at school? I'm great. I finally got my foot in the door. <sighs> I'm glad things are going so well for you. Oh, too bad things aren't going so well for you. What does he mean? I thought you were doing great at work. I am. But there's a little problem. Jock itch. Now that's a problem. A big problem. Uh, I don't know whether you'll understand this or not, Corey, but I'm a salesman, you know, a people person. Yeah, sure, I'm selling a lot of policies, but everyone in town seems to hate me. It's almost like they're afraid of me. I don't get it, it's like the whole town is crazy. Nobody likes you? Uh, 
And don't worry, kiddo. I'm just glad that you're making friends and doing so well. That's what's important. I'm proud of you, son. I'll just keep working at it. They'll come around. Jeez, Dad. Maybe there's something you should know. <laughs> what? That life doesn't work out the way you expect it? I never planned to go into insurance. And that's OK. And you know what makes it OK? What? Every time that I knock on a door, or I get one slammed in my face, I think about who I'm doing it for. For you and your mom. Dad, the kids at school are treating me good because I told them something about you. Well, I appreciate that, Cor. You don't understand. Saved by the bell. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, this is Joe. Tomorrow? Sure, I got some openings. Absolutely. I'm the man for the job, sure. A big contract? And if it goes well, there will be others even bigger? <laughs> sure, absolutely. Fantastic. I'll be there. OK, bye. Well, that was a surprise. And this isn't one of those measly little contracts. This one sounds big. And they actually sounded friendly, too. In fact, they said they'd like to think of me as part of their family. Uh, now, where were we? Never mind. It's just I have to straighten some stuff out at school. You know, hey, kid on. stuff. <laughs> I just can't believe the mob has moved here. This was such a lovely town. Oh, and the wife. I mean, the whole family, they just. Oh, they looked so normal, and, I, and, and who could believe that he... I know, I know. This town is just not what it used to be. Do you think she knows? Of course she knows. No, the wife is always the last to know. Oh, there she is. Hi! She better not come over here. Oh, my goodness. She should just go back where she came from. She offed three people with his bare hands. Indeed he did. I saw it happen. I'm still recovering. Hi. I'm sorry I couldn't help but overhear what you guys were saying. We said something? About the mob family? <laughs> oh, yeah. We were... <laughs> you don't really think that there's... Well, you know what they say. The wife is always the last to know. I thought that's when a husband cheats. Or if he's a boozer, a bigamist. Or a hitman. Uh, uh, oh, uh, the bell. I heard the bell. I didn't hear any bell. There's no school bell here. Shut up, Nora. We gotta go, honey. Oh, yeah, we gotta go. <laughs> Bye. The wife is always the last to know? from your new chrome and glass office, Joe. Huh? Oh, yeah. From my window, I can almost see the ocean. <laughs> and I bet if the wind is blowing just right, you can almost smell it, too. Yeah, sure. I love your rum. Excuse me? <laughs> the roast. Oh. Delicious. Thank you. By the way, I have to see a client tonight around 9. 9 o'clock at night? Isn't that a little late? I have to meet with clients at their convenience. Joe, I know things are tough, but you wouldn't do anything crazy, would you? Well, I'd do whatever I have to, sweetheart, to take care of you and Corey. Corey, stop playing with your food. Honey, I think you're doing a great job. I really do. I, I just don't want you to kill yourself. Or anyone else. Yeah. OK. Whatever. Pam, let the guy do his job. 
If there's one thing you gotta learn in marriage, it's a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Right. And of course, a woman's gotta do what a woman's gotta do. Like, take me to get my gallstones figured out. You promise. But you don't just go to a drive through and have your gallstones removed. Doctors are busy. There are waiting lists. It has to be set up. It is set up. <laughs> I called Dr. Malik at the Johnsonville Surgery Center. Johnsonville. That's 50 miles away. Uh, no problem. I got us a hotel. <laughs> ah. You promise, Pam. If that stone gets too big, it could get serious. That's the way you want it. A promise is a promise. But you promise me one thing, Joe. When I get back, don't tell me I have to put plastic slip covers all over the furniture. Slip covers. So, Joe, I'd like to buy a policy for one of my employees. A big policy. You get my drift? Absolutely. You're going to pay the premium so that your employee is taken care of. I couldn't have said it better myself. And of course, I'd like you to deliver it personally. It'll be my pleasure. All right. Oh, and you can rest assured that I take care of all contingencies. The contract with me has those little extras. For instance, at no additional cost, I include mutilation, maiming, and, and bodily dismemberment. Ooh, I like this guy. Sounds as if you have it all under control. <laughs> this should cover your best contract. Jeez, I should say so. Uh, my clients usually give me checks. Oh, but what the hey? Money talks and Joe walks, huh? In fact, if you've got others, I could do a group thing. Well, if this works out, I do have a few other friends who might need servicing. <laughs> Terrific. Oh, I think you'll be pleased. <laughs> 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 I love this guy. <laughs> Freddy oh. Frederick Staccati. He's at this address. Found it. Boom. <laughs> you guys are great. Catch you later. He was supposed to kiss your hand. What is it with people these days? I mean, no respect, right? Give me. Let me kiss him. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Corey, Mom and Uncle Don are away, so us mice will play. First thing tomorrow, we're going on a camping trip. Just you and me. Great, Dad. We'll do some male pondy. We just have to make one little stop first for business. Fine. <laughs> Didn't I say we should move here? Hmm? Didn't I say everything would work out? And these guys have big money. But they're all gonna want big policies, too. Damn, I'm good. That's great, Dad. We'll have a cookout, a hike, and a whole lot more. Yeah, poison ivy, mosquito bites, and bear oh. Did you bring all the stuff? Flashlights, the s'mores? How could I forget the s'mores? Everything's in the trunk. This place is this. I told you, this is one of my clients. We gotta stop here before we go. You wait in the car. It shouldn't take long. Then we'll hit that trailhead. OK, good luck. <laughs> Who needs luck? This one's already sold. Piece of cake. Hello? Anybody here? <laughs> Hello? Hello! Who are you? Hi, I'm Joe. Joe Cannon. Mr. Marconi sent me. Mr. Stigati. Oh, maybe. How come Marco didn't come himself? He got a gift for you that he wanted me to bring you. Oh, may I come in? Nice place you got here. Anywho, Mr. Marconi bought something for me that he wanted you to have. The best contract that money can buy. Is this some kind of joke? Absolutely not. I have here in my pocket a... Yeah. 
and I have here something that will skewer you like a shish kebab. Wow. Pitchfork. <laughs> Makes me feel a little devilish. <laughs> wow. Boy, I bet you sure could bail some hay with this baby. Whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't have much time, so I better just get on with my business. No, 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 no. Don't, please. Just sit down, get comfy, while I explain the exact contract that I prepared for you. you you're going to tell me about it first? Absolutely. I want you to know everything that's coming to you. You got some nerve, mister. Say I accidentally speared you. <laughs> that would be death. Quick and maybe painless. But let's just say I hit an arm. Or a leg. Or three fingers. No. Two toes. Or a nostril. <laughs> My contract covers all of that. <laughs> this thing is pretty scary. <laughs> Okay, you slime, sit down. Nobody, nobody's doing a contract on me. <laughs> Take it easy, careful with that thing. Just calm down. Sit down, or I'll give you more holes than Swiss cheese. That's funny. I'll show you what funny is. Sit down! Okay, I know people hate insurance salesmen, but this is ridiculous. Okay. Real slow now. Take that piece out of your pocket. What? Nice and easy. Very slowly. Okay. What is this? Okay. Where is it, huh? What are you packing? What are you talking about? The gun! The gun, you were reaching for it. No, I was reaching for your contract, your insurance policy. It's right there, you threw it away. You mean? <laughs> you mean you're, you're really an insurance salesman? Of course I am. What'd you think? I was a mafia hitman? <laughs> oh. My. God. Is that your car? Yes. Are you alone? Yes. Absolutely. Totally. Take off your tie. Why? I said take off your tie and give it to me. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Now, put your hands behind you. Don't oh, stop ow. crying, huh? <laughs> Marco didn't know he was buying this. He thought he was buying this. No. No, he thought he was buying that, not mm -hmm. that. Please don't do this. Damn. If the wrong I did for that dirty sleeve bag, I'm sure if you just called that dirty sleaze bag, you'd be more than happy to work this out. Good idea. Only, only you are gonna call him. Whatever you say. Mm -hmm. Tell him that you completed the job. Tell him I gave him some dirt on Nick. Seems <laughs> that he's been skimming into his profits the last two years. Get one syllable wrong, and I'm gonna use this to clean out your sinuses. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hi, Joe. You did. He did? I should? Why? I'll be right out. What'd he say? He said he took care of the contract. Freddy's dead. Joe wants to meet with me alone. So what's the problem? 
The problem is Joe called on my cell phone. Isn't it good manners to call ahead? Sure, if you know the number. Only Joe don't know the number. Freddie knows the number. Something screwy. Only they don't know that I know. Now, how are we gonna do this? They're at a farm. We gotta make it look like an accident. <laughs> Don't worry, boss. This garage is a haven for WMD. Weapons of mob destruction. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Let's go to work. <laughs> Hey, not so tight. So, uh, hmm? tell me, what drove you to a life of crime? <laughs> Troubled childhood? No. I had a great childhood. Until <laughs> Scruffy ran away. Then, then I really got pissed off. You see how things change? Now, you're my insurance. <laughs> I'm ready, boss. In the trunk, I got a weed whacker. I got a hoe. I got a rake and some rope. Oh, and here's the cherry on top of the spumoni. I brought a 50 pound bag of manure. <laughs> We're gonna give Freddie and Joe an extreme makeover. The dead edition. <laughs> Joe! You're gonna be. Hey, we all make mistakes. You made a mistake. I made a mistake. Uh, mine wasn't really a mistake, more of a misunderstanding. Shut up. You handled Joe. It proves you're still the best. I want the best. And to prove how much I want it, I'm gonna give you a little bonus. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy. It's not hardware, it's cash. Look for yourself. <laughs> yes, it is. That's all yours. Keep it. Well, hello, Freddy! <laughs> hey, Freddy, you been to church lately? Because I can make you holy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see what you did right there. Good one. Shut up. Sit down. You're a two-time loser. <laughs> or it's a three. <laughs> Including Joe. Maybe four. <laughs> oh, yeah. You two are both mistakes. Big ones. But we're gonna correct them mistakes. Ain't we, Nikki? Permanently. Okay, okay. We're gonna do a little magic. Yeah, yeah. See, used to, I gotta p p p disappear. 
Yeah, we wait until dark, right? And then, when nobody's looking... And trust us, no one will be looking, because no one is even here. And if they were, we'd make sure they would never see nothing again. <laughs> What's with you? Uh, uh, itchy ear. Anybody got a Q-tip? Don't use a Q-tip in your ear. That's dangerous. Let, let me just take him outside and nail him. No. We're at a farm. We're not gonna nail him. We're gonna bail him. Huh? Deadly things can happen at a farm, old McDonald. Ooh. E I E I, ouch. <laughs> Used to are gonna experience a little farming mishap. <laughs> 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 Shut up! Okay, fellas. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna all get up now. I gotta get help. Nice little walk outside and see the horse. Why are we here, boss? I told you the day would come when I would ask you to return the favors I've done for you. Well, the day is here. But first, I have to tell you something. I lied to you. What? To everybody. And I have to tell the truth now. My dad's not in the mob. What do you mean? He's playing us. No, I was playing you before. He's not a mafioso. He's an insurance salesman. A regular old insurance salesman. What about all those guys he killed? My father never killed anybody. And there's no broken kneecaps or crushed fingers either. But he's my dad, and I love him, and now he's in trouble because of me. Then it's your problem, not ours. But you all still owe me a favor. Hey, you lied. We don't owe you anything. Come on, Timmy. Didn't I get Kirk to give your marbles back and to stop calling you Melonhead? And Sean, your brother stopped writing on you to your parents. He's right, guys. He did do that. He made life easier for us. So what's the favor, Corey? What is it you want us to do? Here's the plan. What? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Are you serious? Wait, what? He keeps... <gasps> what are you, crazy? We should tell the sheriff. No, there's no time. And he'd never believe us. Yeah, he didn't believe our parents. And we can't tell them either. They're too freaked already. We've got to do it ourselves. But they're monsters. We're just kids. We're kids with brains. Yeah, and I don't want mine to end up all over the sidewalk. Come on, guys. Remember our history lesson. The Battle of Brighton's Bluff. Captain Brighton bluffed his way to victory. He was planning tactics and strategy. He was a nutcase who finished the war in an insane asylum. Here's my plan. Come on, hurry up. It's too heavy. Quit complaining. Oh, I think I pulled a muscle in my back. I'm going to pull a muscle in your face. Let's go. You guys need some help? Uh, Miss Fernell's been grabbing stuff from kids for centuries. I bet there's a ton of stuff we could use in here. Well, can't you get it open? Sorry. Always works in the movies. Well, so does this. All right. Oh, yeah. Nice. I emptied out the medicine cabinet in the bathroom. Yes. Relaxatril, snooze ease, sleepy deepy. Man, my family's got problems. Oh good, we're having pizzas. It's not for us, it's for them. Let's see, we've got one veggie, one pepperoni, and one cheese. Well now, they're all going to be specialties of the house. The sleeping pills on the veggie, and the laxatives on the pepperonis. Except now, there'll be pooperonis. <laughs> <laughs> That's two number twos to go. And go, and go, and go. <laughs> Wait, you forgot something. You gotta go back to the school. To the basketball court! Scissors cuts paper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the paper was wrapped around this. Bada boom! Pizza delivery. Pizza? We didn't order no pizza. Jeez, I I'm starving, boss. Maybe Freddy ordered it. Maybe. Maybe not. I 
I had pizza for 121 West East Haven Street. This ain't West East Haven. It's East West Haven. You got the wrong address, kid. Yeah, yeah, you gotta go It's uh, south on North Street. Kid, check Google Maps. Uh, hey, it's my bad. These pizzas would be cold by the time I get there. You want them? No charge. I would just have to throw them away otherwise. Uh, smells good, boss. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Wait. Just a minute, kid. Don't forget your tip. Your dad wasn't there. I didn't see him anywhere. He was tied up in a chair. Maybe before, but he's not there now. Come on, guys. Let's go. We got this, Corey. We got your back. Come Get on, down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You're ugly. Oh, yeah? Well, you're scum. Oh, yeah? Well, your own mother would spit on your grave and then flamingo on it with the spiked heels. Oh, yeah? Well, your friends think you're slime. They don't even want to look at you. They hope you rot in jail, you murdering bum. Ah, I give up. Who am I? Al Capone. Who am I? <laughs> you're Al Capone, too. I knew it. I should have gone with my gut. My mother spitting on my grave was a dead giveaway. Uh, I'm getting tired. I, I, I think I ate too much. Come on, Scarface. We got a job to finish. Let's get these two in the trunk. And when it gets dark, we'll take a drive and throw them in the town dump. Oh, speaking of dumps. I really gotta take one. We can't be too late. We can't. Daryl, Sean, come with me. Everyone else, take up positions. No one's in the car. Look in the back. No one's there. Corey, here. I'm over here. Corey. Son. Hey. In the haystack. In here. Quick, come on, guys. Hurry up, son. Hurry. Dad? Here. Where? In here. Dad, are you in there? Shoo! Gesundheit. Thank you. Dad? I'm in here. Quick, somebody help me get him out of here. Don't worry, Tori. We'll get him out. What the hey? What? The hay! They, they, they're taking the hay! I mean, they're taking those guys! Come on, you knucklehead! What do you think you're doing? Uh, there's a harvest dance at school, and we needed some hay. Balls! Okay. Some water? Well, it's about 50% water. <laughs> and 50% lemon juice. With a little touch of sriracha. Nikki! 
Nikki! Marco! Nikki! Marco! Paul! Nikki! Nikki! Where are you? What's that smell? So did you like the pizzas? Game over, kitties. You ever heard of a Molotov cocktail? Yeah. Once he lights that fertilizer, you're all charbroiled poop. Final assault! Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hey! Hey! Corey, where are you? I don't wanna play no more. Ah. Hey, get me out of here! Ah. Ah. I'm okay. Oh. 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 I love you, son. I love you too. <laughs> oh. Oh. All done. Oh, like that. Oh. I'm so sorry, Dad. What do you mean? You saved me. You're a hero. Well, not really. This whole thing was kind of all my fault. I sort of told everyone you were a hitman for the mob. You what? I didn't mean to. It just happened. I can't believe this. Are you going to kill me? How could you do this, Corey? Why would you say that? Because they were picking on me. You told me to use words instead of fighting. I'm sorry, Dad. Oh, Corey. Words can be just as dangerous as fists if you don't use them right. I know, Dad. It was dumb. Am I grounded for life? No. Just till you're 25. <laughs> you did this? I love children. Now, let me finish the job. No, you won't. Get him! No, 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 no! no. Oh, Hello? Hello, Marco? Hello? Uh, what's happening? Oh, I want to go home. <laughs> Look, everybody, we're in the newspaper. Huh? Elmer's kids capture Marconi gang. <laughs> we're famous. Yeah. Maybe we'll get our own reality show. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Corey, it's much more fun being friends than bullies. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, everybody, I'm ready to start grilling. <laughs> no cooking for you today, honey. We have a kitchen full of casseroles and homemade pies from the whole neighborhood. Really? Really, along with about 100 thank you cards, all asking for new policies, too. You're heroes. <laughs> Mom, look. Oh, Corey. Oh, Joe, I'm so proud of you. And I'm so glad my guys are safe. How could the whole town think that you were? And I thought that you were. How could I think we you were? We missed you, sweetie. Mm. So, Uncle Don, how was your surgery? Fantastic. Wait till I post this on eBay. My Gaga Goldstone is going to make us Gaga Zillion. <laughs> <laughs> OK, everybody, let's see. Okay, Uncle Don, put the Goldstone away while we're eating, please. Did I ever tell you who lived in this house before us? It was a creepy old guy named Smith. He was a hermit who had no friends. He had giant zits all over his face, and he smelled like liver. Six days old. If anyone came to the door, he'd invite them in, and then he'd kill them. He'd boil them in oil and eat their flesh, and then bury their bones in the backyard. Wow. Not buying it, Corey. You can't fool us again. No way. You're right. I was just kidding. I just made it up. You had me for a minute. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Nah, it was lame. That could never happen. I <laughs> 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 actually believe that. You really had me going. Oh, man, hey, boys, dessert is, is ready. Yeah, Come know. on inside. OK, Mom, we're coming. I think she put her food in the chocolate. That's so awesome. Come on, Mom, too. Freak. <laughs> 
talk about me I'll never speak up It won't change a thing Cause I'm not good enough For anyone or anything And I try not to Gotta stand tall once and for all That's the way you gotta go If the kids in class won't give you respect And take you for a fool in the rain, yeah The teacher seems to always turn his back As soon as they start calling your names But take your lunch money like it ain't funny Until you tell them today I tell them if the mess better give it a rest Yeah, you're gonna have the last say How to be the bully, how to be the bully You gotta be one tough son of a gun, yeah Oh yeah How to be the bully, how to be the bully Turn the tables and you won Be the bullet. 